Welcome to Datex 2. In these tutorials for Datex developers and Datex users, the Datex 2 data model and access to it are explained. There are a couple of themes available, but in this particular section, the packaging structure and the access to the model are described. So let's go and start with the packaging guide. In the newest version of Datex 2, which is Datex 2 version 3.0, the use of multiple namespaces is introduced. They are organized in UML packages in Enterprise Architect. Thus, it is possible to select only those namespaces that are actually needed for your purpose, instead of dealing with the complete Datex model. The D2 payload namespace is essential, as it forms an outer envelope for all the other namespaces. Then we have common. The common package contains data elements that are reused in multiple other namespaces. It is something like a general library. You are strongly encouraged to add this one to your selection. An essential feature of Datex modeling is of course the usage of georeference. The package and namespace location reference provides this functionality in the form of well-known standardized location reference methods. Once again, you are strongly encouraged to use this package. When you look at all kinds of traffic messages, the situation package is what you need. It comprises classes and attributes to describe incidents and accidents, events, roadworks and much more. When you are looking for parking, we have this namespace for you. Urban or interurban, on street or off street, various details for parking sites or car parks, and of course, dynamic occupancy information is offered to you here. Note that this package might affect structural changes in the near future. This has to do with the SEN standardization cycles. Road traffic data are measurement sites, measure values and elaborated data. This comprises traffic data like, for example, speed values, but also all other kind of mass data up to road weather related data. Once again, the information here that this package might affect changes in the near future. And finally, there is a VMS namespace. The package contains numerous elements to describe the variable message sign units and of course the current signalization state. And this is another package which might affect structural changes in the near future. So typically, you should select at least the D2 payload, the common and the location reference namespace, and then one of the other model-related packages. That means you can use one of the pre-assembled enterprise architect files, which are Datex2 common, Datex2 location, or Datex2 situation. The first one only contains common. The second one is pre-assembled and contains common and location referencing, and the third one already contains all three common location referencing and situation. Note that the D2 payload namespace is always included. As an alternative, you can use an empty model, which is called Datex2 empty platform independent model, and then import the desired namespaces manually. For this purpose, you can use so-called XMI files, Datex2 common, Datex2 location, or Datex2 situation. Now let's show how to get access to the model. First of all, navigate to the website datex2.eu. Then you download the Enterprise Architect file of your choice. For example, the situation for the traffic messages model, as explained before. In Enterprise Architect, you should turn on the project browser, as this is the main tool to navigate through your project. The project browser has a tree structure. Navigate to Datex2 System, Logical, D2 Payload, and then payload publication, and in this example, to the namespace situation.
After that, you can start looking at the diagrams, for example, in the situation publication, where the diagram is located as one of the first entries. This is the end of the introduction to the packaging guide. For further information, you can click on the one of the other videos to explore the data model.